Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone, and if you're ever wondering how I come up with my show and tell videos, it's purchases like this. Um, random, they're always random. Do you call your Matchbox cars model cars? I don't, I just call them cars, my cars. I can't go to dinner with you tonight dear, I'm realigning my cars. Often an excuse I'll use, or something like that anyway. Uh, yeah, so stay on track Tyrone, the people are listening. This isn't a rehearsal. All of these seemingly are from early to mid 90s. I get a bit giddy when I get one of these because it's a little bit of a surprise. A little bit of excitement, wondering, uh, or finding out how other people have um, collected. I didn't meet the owner as we gaze lovingly upon Hot Stocks Pit Stop Action Playset. Uh, I recognise these cards from the Monster Truck, no not Monster Truck, the um, Action Sets. Um, same, similar thing. I've got a whole bunch of these NASCAR type races but this one's new to me. In fact, I would imagine that you could only get this if you bought this pack. The Pit Stop Action Playset. There are some more. I think they're all in here, maybe. We'll get to those. There's a bunch of them anyway. Um, they've already given you the cup. Why would you bother? Hmm. It's not very motivating, is it? Looks like they've all got the cup. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the, the collector, the original collector. I didn't meet him this time. Normally I get to meet the person selling them, letting them go, and uh, I love to have a bit of a, a chat. Sometimes the chat turns into an epic yak, but that's all right. Um, sometimes at the risk of them almost wanting not to sell them to me in the end because they've been re-energized about their model cars. I uh, sold a real car a couple of weeks ago on behalf of someone and uh, we invited them into the house and uh, we're filling out the paperwork, the transfer papers they're called here and uh, I got stuck yakking so much I just shoved the paperwork over to my wife's side of the kitchen counter and I said can you fill this out I just want to yak <laughs> and uh, that's what I did and she rolled her eyes and she filled out the paperwork for me etc no I was just about to tell you that was a double but no we've got number seven number one that's number three hmm I'm sure these aren't actual drivers in fact the driver isn't on the window or in the car who knows where he went? And number 22, an orange one. God knows what that is. Looks like a mechanical pig. Don't know. No. They've all got different types of accessories. Hopefully the lights are doing their thing here. I'm at a weird angle to fit it all in. Let's mix it up. Well, there's another two of those, but... When you've seen one, you've seen them all, I think. Gold Series Limited Edition. Um, do we have a year on here? Yeah, 1993. That's Tyco Toys with the Australian uh, version of the Ford Transit. This one in Express Post. Openable and closable, these boxes. These are probably some of my favourite modern boxes for Matchbox. Yeah. Really cool. They're in good nick, as you say here. If we're looking at Australian things. Another Australian. Uh, true blue. No, true value. That's the, the catchphrase here, true blue. But true value hardware on this one. Australian collector's model. Um, further to my little story I was spinning, um, didn't meet the owner, I met the wife, uh, and to be honest, if I'm not meeting the owner, my ears close. She did say why he was getting rid of them, or why she was getting rid of them for him. Um, I didn't hear it. I was too busy 
perusing and when I buy a collection like this um, I just sort of spend maximum 10 seconds I don't rummage I don't rifle through um, I just sort of make up my mind on the spot if the price is good enough I've probably made up my mind before I turn up to the seller's house have the cash ready um, all the negotiations have been done um, that's a red canopy by the way the original uh, was a tan canopy then it went to black or vice versa and here we have the red one in the 90s 1993 maybe all of them I've got a milker truck uh, I'll have to check for variants on mine to see if I've got the eight dot wheels like this one has see maybe there's one out there with the dash wheels the old-fashioned wheels Ford Courier CV61 van and at number 38 not quite heavy duty but you know. and yes that is probably a double same wheels on that one maybe I'll start my own Alpine milk chocolate fleet can think of worse things to collect <laughs> uh, satellite television sky mobile one TV van that's when the heavy stuff goes down ratings go up birds custard another gold series original flavor um, not familiar with birds custard maybe it's an Australian brand from ye olde times who knows 91 on that one flake Cadbury's do you get Cadbury's where you are it's a chocolate company let's go with the Express Post oh Polizei I do have a fleet of these it just expanded by one again openable boxes really enjoy seeing those 1991 never saw this with the light bar I had the powder blue one uh, non-police obviously and then this Polizei with a few variants you get a shield on the door etc quite often if it's played with the first thing to go will be that hood ornament um, fragile little bugger yeah but that one clearly not paralleled with made in Thailand metal base oh it's a creaky door I'll be opening that again and that one is good almost always well actually always that I can think of tan interior clear windows but maybe that's the variant I've never seen before another cop car same openable box the XJ6 Jaguar without the light bar this one does come with the light bar but here we have it without what else Big Ben meat pies sausage rolls Model A Ford van the uh, Holden Motor Company had a jingle um, here decades ago and it went something like meat pies Holden cars and kangaroos or in another order and uh, nothing more Aussie than a Holden car apparently or a meat pie or a kangaroo tractor funnily enough I have a fleet of those too <laughs> Uh, I think they just turned up and I like the look of them all together oh this is not an openable box um, maybe that's just come unstuck or maybe not we'll see if it's in mint or play worn looks mint that's good that's good here we have the medic Ooh, don't snap off although I've never had one snap off and today's not a good day to start on camera great who's next as I try and stifle a sneeze Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company Akron Ohio huh. 21 Ford Model T Ford hmm. interesting uh, this one's another one I really like collecting because there are so many variants I'll have to check exactly which one that is 
noise. Um, tractor shovel, they call that. Speaking of variants, you've got to be very careful on these ones. This is the Peterbilt um, quarry truck in this case. But here we have uh, yellow, red, white livery, um, non-chromed exhaust stack and driver. And also, even if you have that exact combo, this one might be made in another country, Thailand or Macau or England or somewhere. So if you're collecting everything, then... And we're back. We've just had a camera malfunction. Um, if you're just joining us, uh, I reviewed this one and uh, I had a double of the flake. I think it's a double anyway. Might be a uh, variant. I'll suss it out later. Next cab off the rank, we've got the breakdown van. Chevy van is the front end would have you believe. Just want to um, check to see if the spring is okay. Yep, spring on this one is fine. Now and again you'll, you'll get a perfectly good looking one. No damage, no play wear or anything. But uh, that spring just doesn't do its thing. Beautiful, that one's good. And uh, made in China, metal base. Beauty, mate. Fab. Eh, something a little bit different. Heritage Transport Series. It is a matchbox, probably uh, from the Skybusters, isn't it? Uh, this must have been an area of the Skybusters collection I didn't bother with. Number five, Royal Mail Biplane. It'd be a good excuse if you mailed the check back then. Um, what year? Only is 1914. Was sent mail by ear. Wonder how many. Ooh, wonder how many planes went down with mail on them. 1914, possibly a lot. That was the uh, start of the First World War. <laughs> but. Uh, hmm. Heavy little sucker. What have we got? Hmm. Made in Thailand. Okay. Australian National Airways Limited. Be very limited in this thing. Range, safety, comfort. Everything would be very limited. It's really heavy. It's quite impressive. So that's random. Speaking of random, we've got a bicycle. Not something again I would be collecting. Australia Post Collectors Model Heritage Transport Series. Uh, they ride motorbikes around my neck of the woods. You wouldn't want to be on a push bike in the hills. Post would never get through. Uh, can I show you the back? PMG is a Postmaster General push bike. Be doing a lot of pushing up around here. Another Openable, closable, Mercedes-Benz 280 GE, the G-Wagon with a rescue livery. Lots of emergency vehicles, really like it. Fire tender for the airport, and that blazing orange. Uh, what year? Mm, 92 for that one. And another Model A van, City Ford. Don't know if that's a real company, probably, maybe. Hopefully the light's hitting, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, the strange angle I've, I was forced to put you on today. Um, hopefully it's, it's gonna do what I've got to show you justice. I think I have this one, but I think, I think, actually it might be the blue windows I have, and here we have red windows, so I have to figure out where to store the influx. London bus, London wide tour bus is the sticker. Number 17, the Leyland Titan. Mm. Another the Yeldi, Kellogg's Cornflakes. It's the Model T Ford. Lots of London stuff. London taxi with a Union Jack on front doors, just on. Hmm. Just on the passenger side. No livery. Yeah, that's weird. 
I think mine had it on both, but might be wrong. And five arch wheels. Sweet. Small public transport. <laughs> it's a Steam Loco and at number 63, Gold Series. And I think that's just the regular engine, isn't it? Another Australian. Uh, weird scale. Not even matchbox. Old time delivery van. Hmm. Hmm. What else? Oh, finish off the other two of these. Number four. He's got the cup too. Everyone's got the cup. Everybody won. Everyone's a winner. Oh, something really out of left field. Lady Penelope's Rolls Royce Fab One. Now I have this loose. Um, heaven forbid there's a variant to them because they're quite hard to come by and when you do come by them they're really expensive. Now I almost reluctantly tore this off the ba um, off the card when I got it but uh, yeah if I see a variant I'll do the same to this one. Um, made in China 92 I think on that chrome base. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Um, Australia Post. This is the FJ Holden, isn't it? Hmm. Now these come out with all the football teams and you name it. A bit like the Model A. But, um, drag it out, kicking and screaming. Yeah. What's that? Royal Mail. Sweet. FJ Holden panel van made in Thailand. Awesome. I've never seen that one before. And that's what getting these hauls is all about as we ogle the very last one in the box, number 11 of that Hot Stocks Pit Stop Action Playset series. Sweet. Wow, what a table full. Let's do a little pan around, shall we? I have to lift the whole kit and caboodle up. So you get a bird's eye view. What do you think? I'm very excited about that. Yeah, the uh, there was no backstory sadly on this one um, because I did not get to meet the owner, just his wife who seemed not caring about the collection. And uh, it's better off that you you find someone who's kind of reluctantly getting rid of them because then you hear the whole story. You can chew the fat for half an hour about why they started, how many they had when they were younger and they had to let them go because of XYZ. Um, it's always slightly sad, but um, you, you get somebody else's perspective on collecting, which is always very valuable. Um, and uh, another point of view goes a long way as to how other people tackle collecting these marvellous little cars. Not model cars, just cars. Fantastic. Hope you enjoyed the ride. I always enjoy showing you these and I won't put any of these in the next show and tell because you've already seen them. So like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.